Well, with only a handful of states in contention this election, both parties are looking at Ohio as a potential difference maker in a close race for the White House. Now, Ohio has voted for the winning candidate in at least 14 straight elections, and political experts think that the state could lead that way again. This is the most important election of our lifetimes, not because I'm running, because what's at stake Democratic nominee Joe Biden toured Ohio on Monday, and after a sizable eight-point win for the president in 2016, the battle for Ohio is much closer this year, and Democrats feel they have a shot to win the state. Since the Republican Party was formed in 1856, they've never won the presidency without winning Ohio. And since the Democratic Party has, has run, they, the last time the Democrats won the Electoral College without Ohio was JFK in 1960. In 2016, Hillary Clinton lost the Electoral College, which some analysts blame on her lack of visibility in key swing states like Wisconsin. Now this year, Biden is making sure to campaign in the Buckeye State to send a message. By showing that you care enough to show up, that in and of itself might be important with some voters that, that, that maybe feel like one of the parties is writing them off. Experts say today's Toledo event was a good place to start, capitalizing on the media exposure in Michigan. Now, in 2016, Ohio's Republican votes were higher than the national average, but in 2018, there were mixed results. Records show some voters made split decisions on different positions. Voted for a Democrat and a Republican for Senate and for governor. So in that way, I think you would look at the state and say that it's still movable and it's still competitive. Now, Biden's primary points were about fighting for social and economic progress, and he won't, quote, grovel to dictators. Live in the newsroom, Caroline Morse, 2 News, working for you.